Fish boo boo, fish boo boo. Where do I put the fish boo boo? Get up, don't talk to me. Just tell me where the fish boo boo's supposed to be. Get up, don't talk to me. Just tell me where the fish boo boo's supposed to be. Woo! It's simple. All we have to do is remove the solids that accumulate from the system and place them in a separate tank. Now what that involves is, once this tank here, this filter here, once it gets um, filled with solids, then what we have to do is we have to flush this bead filter and the solids that come out of this right here, the, um, the, the drain, they're gonna have to be placed inside of a separate tank. So we can't leave them inside of this filter here because if we do, then we're gonna have problems with denitrification. But sometimes we may want that, but I'll talk about that on a separate video. But as far as this video goes, we're just gonna keep it very simple. We're gonna add a separate tank for this to um, flush the um, solids out and to just to be able to stay outside of the tank. Outside of the in system is what I mean, outside of the system. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So what, I'm think so what I'm thinking of doing is this right here, this right here, this is the drain once I'm going to um, flush the solids. So I'm thinking about taking this here and running a line right over that way and putting a sump tank right there, or not a sump tank, putting a, um, a IBC tote, one of the many IBC totes that I have. That's what I have on my mind today. You can come over here, you can see that the aquaponic god has many IBC totes that could be used. Because you shouldn't be using these for fish tanks, these should be used for something else. Maybe you can use these for fish tanks in a very, very low stock, um, stocking density system, but for what we're doing here, this is not going to cut it. But for our um, waste management, these are absolutely perfect. So I'm going to pick one of these out. You see all these, I've been using these before. This has a lot of waste in here, and you can see how they accumulate in the sides and all that stuff. So this is why it makes it um, not a really good tank for solid removal. So I'm going to take one of these tanks, clean it out, and then set it up for our mineralization tank and waste storage tank. Now, right now, as I'm digging this out, I'm deciding if I'm going to run this pipe under the ground or if I'm going to keep it on top. So that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm really not sure. I'll have to find out when I start getting closer to the edge of, that, um, of the high tunnel over there. That's when I'll decide which one I'm going to absolutely do. And you can see I'm absolutely burning up out here once again, the dead of winter, and it's still super hot out here in Florida. It's crazy. All right, so it looks like I am going to go ahead and just dig underneath. And pretty much I want to go underneath this this uh, piece of wood here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig a bigger trench, a deeper trench, and then go underneath there. And then um, we'll uh, be able to add the rest of the tank from there. All right, we got the trench dug. Boom. That pretty much dug out. Now, the conquest to go find some PVC. It's an inch and a half PVC. I need to go find that to lay it down inside of the trench. And I'm not sure if I have any extra inch and a half PVC. I think I have some, but I'm not sure if I have enough. I know I have an inch and a half conduit, which I could use, but I would prefer not to use um, if I have the... Um, the white schedule 40 PVC. So boom, I have some on this. This is the old system here. And I probably will take, uh, let me see. Yeah, I probably will use some of that. So I have that option there. Let me see over here. Uh, okay, I have some here. Some here, right here. Uh, let me see. Uh, come on, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Anything else? All this mess in here. Let me see. She have plenty of inch and a half conduit pipe. I have plenty of that. Plenty of that to go around. So I might just use that instead of going to the store and buying more. So I might just use that. 
because this schedule 40 PV, uh, the, um, the conduit PVC can be used as long as it's not under pressure. And this is not going to be under pressure. This is just a gravity line going to a, um, to a separate tank. So I think I might just go ahead and use it, man. Never mind. Woo! See this long piece right here? Wow. That's exactly what the heck I'm talking about. So we'll just go ahead and use this piece right here. It's always something here at Aquaponics Paradise. There's always an extra piece. So this is what we'll use. All right, so the line has been dug. All I'm gonna do is cover it up back now, get it back looking nice and neat, and then we'll hook the tank up from there. Woo! Didn't even know it was dug up. Bring it back. Ah. All right, so let's go back, grab one of these IBC totes, and get it hooked up. Because the fish boo-boo has to be placed somewhere. Freak out of my way. Tree branch. Okay. Which one is the lucky winner today? I'm oh, coming back here. Ah, la, la, la. Boom, 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 boom. I think I'll take you. I think I will take you. Oh, man. I'm going to have to take these bolts out. Man. Nope. Not you. I don't have that bit. I want to remove these things off. I don't want it sitting on this. So, not you. Not today, brother. Let me see which one has a regular bit right here. I can use this one. I'll just use this one. Take this out. Yeah, I'll use this one. All right. Let's get you out of there. Boom. Flip you over. All right. Ooh. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, let me sit it down right here. All right, everything is hooked up now. We have the pipe running from here all the way to the mineralization tank. Boom, you can see on the inside. Wow. So once again, what this is, is a mineralization tank. This is a waste uh, capture or waste, this is part of waste management. So basically what it is, it's removing the excessive solids from the system and having a place to store them. And this is the tank, obviously this is the tank to store them. Now, once the solids come in through here, what you can do is you can aerate the solids um, which is what I'll eventually do. I don't have any solids right now. It's a brand new system. So once the solids come in here, you can uh, aerate the solids, keep them aerated, um, and then they'll eventually mineralize. Um, these are organic. This is organic material. So what's going to happen is there's going to be uh, bacteria that begin developing here in here, uh, heterotrophic bacteria. And what they do is they break down the organic compounds and they release the minerals. So once the um, once you get enough heterotrophic bacteria in here and those minerals begin breaking down they begin releasing those uh, 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 inorganic material or inorganic minerals then those can be used once again those can be used so you have it here you can use it for you know two purposes you can either take it from the tank boom that's in here take it from here and you can distribute those out to any type of you know terrestrial plants whatever you have going on anything over here whatever you have if you're still doing back breaking soil work if you're still doing that, then you can take that out and you can use that as your fertilizer. Or you can just redistribute it back into the aquaponic system. Of course, you're going to have to um, filter it once again because you don't want uh, those small, uh, fine solids getting placed back into your system. But it can be used to supplement the system as well. It can be used. So that's all this is for. This is another phase of aquaponics. Another phase of aquaponics. This is pretty much mandatory. You need to have, do something with the solids. Um, you just don't want to just, you know, toss them out. Um, on, on the ground or whatever you want to store them process them properly and then decide what you're going to do with them afterwards So this is pretty much it right here. This is the breakdown. Hmm. Boom. Oh, let me come in here. This is it Mineralization It's all gonna be in here flush it from here 
I'll just I'll, I'll flush it from here and then it comes back down there right into the tank again and that is it and now we know where the fish boo-boo goes <laughs>